Hello, so this is another very quick video to demonstrate a feature of my Solar Tariff Optimizer tool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check out the announcement video that I've linked above my head right now. So um, I introduced this tool um, to help people with solar and batteries choose the right tariff for them based on um, other technology that they might have like heat pumps and EVs and such. And uh, so what I've done is I've currently set this up for our purposes and you can see that um, it's telling us the Intelligent Go is good for the winter and Intelligent Flux is good for the summer. I've excluded the Eon Next Drive for now because uh, I don't want to switch to Eon um, for the purposes of this demonstration. Um, and uh, let's say for sake of argument if I wanted to stick with the whole uh, one tariff for the whole year it suggests that Intelligent Go is the right one for us and it suggests that we could be earning £441 um, per year if we stuck with Intelligent Go. Now that is predicated on the assumption that we force discharge our battery down to 20% and that's controlled by this parameter here called the reserve percentage and we've currently got this set to 20% which means we force discharge our battery each day until it drops down to 20% state of charge. Now obviously in the winter we might have already used all of the battery in which case it won't be forced discharging anything but during the summer we would certainly be forced discharging um, you know a good 80% of our battery down to this 20% limit. However I've had people um, ask me um, how they would go about preventing forced discharging, what they would do if they didn't want to do any forced discharging for the purposes of the calculations that this tool does. Now that's very easy to do. You can simply change this value from 20% up to 100% and that means that uh, no forced discharging of your battery will take place. So let's just very briefly see what the effect that has on our particular situation. So currently um, it's £441 earned per year if we discharge every day down to 20%. Now if I change that to 100%, which means we're not doing any forced discharging at all, then that drops to £250 earned rather than the £441. So you can see that by forced discharging we are actually um, increasing our earnings quite substantially. So if you don't currently force discharge, that may be something you want to consider doing. Obviously, uh, you know, it's, there's no requirement to do so. You can run your system exactly how you want. but if you want to use this tool to give you um, the right answer for you, then yeah, make use of this reserve percentage and that can help you control how much you force discharge. That's it for now. Hope you found that useful. I'll catch you in the next one.